Madam Chair, Mr. Attorney General, welcome. Good to see you again. Thank you for the trip uh, last summer uh, where you had an opportunity to kind of get a little, um, a little summary on the ground of, of some of the law enforcement uh, public safety issues that we face primarily in rural Alaska. I, I appreciated uh, that uh, uh, Chair Murray had um, highlighted murdered missing indigenous persons. The work that uh, your teams are doing working with us in Alaska is very, very important. Also appreciate the, the keen focus here in this committee and the subcommittee on, on fentanyl. Um, I wish that I could say we're far enough away that we have escaped, but our, our smallest of the small rural uh, villages are, are being targeted because you can sell this poison there for 10 times more in a village like Quinnahawk or, or, or Togiak than you can in, in even Anchorage. So uh, we all need to, to keep leaning in on that. Uh, back to the issue of, of tribal justice. Um, uh, when, when you were there, we had uh, good conversations. I think that that was very important. We've seen some, some measurable progress on cross-deputization agreements between the state of Alaska and tribes relating to law enforcement. Um, we've got the Not Invisible Commission report recommendations um, that are, are giving us a little bit of a template here but um, I'm, I am a little concerned uh, in terms of the follow-on from, from your visits in, insofar as what more we can do to uh, address the public safety issues. We've asked for some updates. Um, we haven't gotten a lot, and I don't want to be in a situation where these villages, whether it's Galena or Husli or really any place, feel that uh, you came, you saw, and, and, and then there hasn't been um, uh, the follow-on. We've got a lot of work I think we know that we need to do to implement VAWA 2022 uh, and the Alaska Public Safety Pilot. So I, I would ask that um, you and your team can provide uh, us with recommendations for improving the funding opportunities for um, our Alaska Native communities in, in the short term here. If we can do this within the next 30 days, that would be great if you have legislative proposals. But we wanna, we wanna keep the momentum going. I know that you, um, uh, you committed to me, uh, your teams are working on that, but if there are legislative proposals, again, uh, we, wanna, we wanna try to put some of these in the pipeline. Well, we're very happy to do that. I will say that uh, it was a real eye-opening experience for me, uh, as you told me it would be, uh, to be on the ground there and to see the difficulty of uh, 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 transportation between one village and another and the difficulty law enforcement has of reaching a village uh, and the um, uh, really inexcusable fact that there really isn't sufficient law enforcement in any of the villages. Um, I can give you just one update. Um, um, I would say as a result of, of my visit, I've been pressing for money for special tribal jurisdiction. And uh, this uh, budget request um, includes a, four, a, a plus $14 million from FY24 uh, for special uh, tribal uh, criminal jurisdiction. Um, and I would say it's a consequence of what I saw uh, in, in Alaska. Well, let's, let's commit to, to working through some of these specifics going forward. One of the other things that I have heard is um, as, as our tribes are looking for, for uh, federal financial uh, assistance, um, not only in the public safety space but in others, they have been uh, directed to entities for technical assistance, um, but it's technical assistance that is, is from the lower 48. Um, perhaps maybe not culturally responsive um, or geographically relevant to, to many of the issues that we experience there. So, um, you know, I appreciate what the department is doing to, to try to help bolster the capacity of tribes and tribal organizations as they're looking to gain access to some of these grant opportunities. But it's something that I'd like your folks to look at because this is, this again is a big challenge. If if you're talking to somebody who has no idea that we don't have, for instance, reservations in Alaska and the construct mm -hmm. uh, of, of, the, uh, of the governance 
just makes it that much more challenging. So uh, I, I, I raise that to you. I want to comment very quickly on what Chair Murray had raised about um, the Crime Victims Fund. You outlined the benefits of it, but I will tell you, I am very, very concerned that um, we are we're going to be in a situation where if additional fines, fees, penalties from other sources aren't redirected to address the shortfalls, uh, so many of these organizations that just are working so hard, they're burning out, they can't deal with this this year-to-year -year, uh, challenge um, uh, because they simply don't have the resources. And it's not only in the Crime Victims Fund, it's the impact that we're seeing with our child advocacy centers. Many of our CSEs have been using additional funding um, for their base operational costs in addition to VOCA cuts. So you've got VOCA funds that are being cut. You've got the CACs that are hanging out there. It's just, it is really a tenuous situation. I know you know that, but we really need to, uh, to have identified some kind of an offset for this 7.3 billion that's proposed to replenish the now, there is a proposal, if, if I have time to respond now, uh, I will. I, I, I totally agree with you. This trying to depend on the amount of money we're able to get in any particular year is always going, going to be uncertain. Uh, the administration's proposal uh, in the budget, uh, I don't think there's legislative text yet, uh, would take effect in 2026, provide $7.3 billion in mandatory appropriations over five years to replenish and stabilize the fund. I think that's better than the way we're doing it now, mm -hmm. year to year. Um, and so um, our staff would be happy to speak with the staff of the uh, subcommittee and, and your own staff as well on this proposal. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Madam Chair. Thank you, Senator.